friend, it's Doreen, and this is a special video I'm making for those who have taken my classes because I know that my Jesus experience and subsequent conversion to Christianity has caused a lot of uh, confusion. You went full retard, man. Could it be that she was never not a Christian? Could it be that she was never truly a New Ager, a spiritualist? She was just extending her work as a faith-based, well, self-help guru, therapist, whichever term you prefer, calling it angel therapy. And because of pressure from friends and family, which may or may not have taken place, it's all speculation, she decided to convert. Or there's her opinion, her story, that she met with Jesus. It was like he came and scooped me up. And he said for her to convert. Well, I think it was kind of implicit probably wouldn't have been aligned with this path either if Jesus hadn't come to me himself. And apparently this is the best thing that's ever happened to her, it's the most important thing to ever happen to her. She's effectively born again, I don't know if that's the technical term for her kind of Christianity, but in any case, that is the kind of claim. I didn't plan on meeting Jesus on January 7th, 2017. It happened, and it was like he came and scooped me up. And my life has not been the same since. Retarded, like really retarded. I was compelled to read the Bible um, all the way through. Damn. Probably wouldn't have been aligned with this path either if Jesus hadn't come to me himself. In a weird way, I had to sort of just free myself up to believe that it was okay to be stupid or dumb. Passionate about Jesus and what I've learned in the Bible, and I want to share it. Be moral. Yeah. To be moronical. Exactly. To be but you have to be real. Like I've always been real with you. Be moral. An imbecile. Yeah. All those skill sets that you and I have worked together in the classes, that same skill set applies to talking directly to God and hearing God's messages. Everybody knows you never go full retard. <laughs> never go full retard. 